always will call my friends because I've seen you so many times. God bless you. Thank you for that feeling. And thanks to the band for giving me the space for singing that song. Thank you so much. seventh song and there was a time when by this time I changed my jacket eight times <laughs> I remember being in the dressing room preparing myself to go out on stage and big stage like that and fucking it was like you know a whole whole cast of, of, of Phantom of the Opera going out there and it was just for me changing jackets <laughs> and I always used to say to Vito the guitar solo allows me to change jackets <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and that's not that the audience wants this, so I can change. <laughs> now this next little song here is also, like many other, a very, very special song. Especially because when we wrote this song in the 80s, and I've talked about this a lot of times, so I don't want to feel like I'm repeating myself, I'm just going to change the names of people and stuff like that. And you'll think it's a new story and stuff like that. <laughs> but I mentioned before that when I started getting deep into lyrics and deciding that I wouldn't want my kids to come later on in life when daddy's sitting in the rocking chair and uh, drooling and stuff like that. I said, daddy, daddy, were you the one that put the X in sex? Yeah. <laughs> and suddenly, like, thought that you had, nobody recognized anyone. You actually, I can say to my kids, no. That was somebody else. That's not what Daddy did, because Daddy decided in the 80s that even though I was in the same magazine as Vince, Brett, John, Sebastian, and all the other kids, that I didn't want to write the same stuff they wrote. I love girls as much. I love partying, not as much, but I like that part of so, I didn't want that to be in my lyrics. It's that simple. I wanted to say something. But the difficult part was that the 80s were having a good time. And you were, you were always on that fine line of how far should you go. And then Vita sometimes says, man, the tramp, man, you know, MTV already has Bono. <laughs> and that guy with the orange crush, Michael Stipe. He says, yeah? He says, they write pretty good lyrics. Yeah, man, but look, look what the cat dragged in. I says, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so bit by bit, that's how we started with most of the song, a battle of stuff like that. But I came around because I stood my ground and knocked it down, all that. And then this next song here was about a subject that went on in, in 1970. Anyone explain it to the band who's what an injury interesting. With time, this song has become a personal song for a lot of people in the audience. And every night when I meet and greet for free people, Thank you. they come and tell the story. And it's hard and gut-wrenching sometimes when they say that this song was a song they were listening to every day while they were sitting in a hospital room watching the four-year-old pass away. And then I have to stand there and smile, but to say, thank you very much for giving us that song. This is Little Fighter.
Still wanna lay you down.